we've got the most fuel efficient non-luxury sedans. All right, welcome to the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm Zach. I'm Andrea. So if you like this, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up and a subscribe, that definitely helps. And on Instagram, it's motormouth underscore Andrea. So the way this is gonna work is we're starting with the smallest. Mm -hmm. Smallest is the most fuel efficient. Then you work up in size from subcompact to compact and then midsize. And what else are we throwing in there? Uh, and then we're gonna, well, we're gonna break it down into three categories, gas, hybrid and plug-in hybrid. There are not a lot of hybrid and plug-in hybrids, but that's okay, still an option. All right, let's start with the smallest. In third spot, it's the Mini Cooper three or four door or the convertible, a 1.5 liter three cylinder with 134 horsepower. It gets a combined 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers, 32 miles per gallon. How about that Mini? <laughs> Now it does kind of straddle into a bit of the premium space, but the thing is that is on the base model. I know. So it's the less expensive engine, yeah. less expensive to buy good on gas. Next up, we have three cars that are tied for second place. Yeah. Let's get into it. The Hyundai Accent, no longer available in Canada, but in the US, it has a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine with a CVT and 120 horsepower. It gets a combined 36 miles per gallon. The cousin to that vehicle, which is available in Canada, is the Kia Rio with the same power plant, a 1.6 liter four cylinder and 120 horsepower, and of course an efficient CVT. It's rated at 6.7 liters combined, that's 36 miles per gallon. And finally, the Nissan Versa with a 1.6 liter four cylinder and a CVT, 122 horsepower. It gets a combined 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers, that's 36 miles per gallon. Now, one thing we should mention, Andrea, mm -hmm. is the sales of subcompact cars, those are all subcompacts, yeah. have fallen off a cliff in recent years because everybody's running towards utilities, uh, just in time for fuel prices to spike. I know. And it's too bad that the, there's vehicles like the Yaris that are no longer available yeah. and so on. So it's disappointing. The Micra, which was sold in Canada by Nissan, was fuel efficient. You now, can still get the Chevy Sparks, but oh, the fuel economy isn't great. I was going to say that. You're yeah. probably thinking, what about the Sparks? No, it doesn't even make our list, but we do have another little teeny car <laughs> that is the most fuel efficient. It's the Mitsubishi Mirage with a 1.2 liter, three cylinder engine and a CVT. It's a powerhouse, 78 horsepower, but it gets incredible fuel economy, 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 39 miles per gallon combined. Now we move up in size to the compact class. You're getting a little bit more room and you might be surprised what's tied in number two spot. One thing we found out, we were at an event with Toyota recently and they said that sales of this class of car have actually gone up since fuel prices have spiked. We're at record high levels for fuel prices. People are reimagining cars again, which is good yeah. because cars are more efficient than SUVs and these ones are all very good. So let's get into it. In third spot, it's the Honda Civic, and it doesn't matter if you choose the two liter four cylinder that's matched to a CVT and has 158 horsepower, or the 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder with 180 horsepower, fuel economy is exactly the same. It gets a combined 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers, that's 35 miles per gallon. We have a tie for second place, the Volkswagen Jetta. Who would have thought a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with an eight speed automatic, no CVT, and you also get 158 horsepower would have such good fuel economy. 6.8 liters per 100 kilometers combined, that's 35 miles per gallon combined. Tied in second place is the Toyota Corolla sedan or hatchback. It is a two liter four cylinder with a CVT and 169 horsepower. It gets a combined 6.8 liters per hundred kilometers or 35 miles per gallon. So the takeaway I think for me, Andrea, is these cars get very good fuel economy, but they're not small. No. Like you think about the Jetta is big, right? It's uh, the new Civic is big. Yeah. So you have a lot of room in the back seat and the trunks are very big. And our winner is actually the biggest in this class, right? Yes. Um, and also we have a 2017 Civic and the new Civic, as Zach said, is bigger, but ours is so spacious. We really like it a lot. So you have to just get your head around the fact it's not an SUV, but they're still roomy. These are all EPA ratings. So if you own one of these vehicles and you're getting better fuel economy, let us know. I'm sure others would 
would be happy to hear about it. We always get comments on we're Canadian and we sound funny to you people in the United States. The next vehicle in Canada <laughs> is the winner. It's the Hyundai Elantra in Canada. In the United States, it's the Elantra. The Elantra has a two-liter four-cylinder engine matched to a CVT, 147 horsepower. That's 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers combined and just over 35 miles per gallon. Our first honorable mention is built on the same platform as our overall winner, and it's surprising it isn't as efficient. It's the Kia Forte. It gets a combined 7 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 33 miles per gallon combined. The next cars are all tied. Let's start with the Honda Civic Hatchback. It has a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder with 181 horsepower. It gets a combined 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 35 miles per gallon. The Kia Forte 5, that's the hatchback version and it's only available in Canada. It gets 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers combined. And then there's the Nissan Sentra. It has a combined 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 33 miles per gallon. Okay, hybrids. Everybody wants a hybrid nowadays. They weren't popular and now everybody <laughs> wants one. And there's only one. three. So these are our top three because there's only three. Now these are all very close, but it's the Toyota Corolla Hybrid that gets third spot with a 1.8 liter four cylinder matched to an eCVT. It has 121 horsepower. It gets a combined 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 52 miles per gallon. The Toyota Prius with a 1.8 liter four cylinder and an eCVT with 121 horsepower. 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's an amazing 53 miles per gallon combined. And our number one pick is the Hyundai Elantra Hybrid with a 1.6 liter four cylinder and a six speed dual clutch transmission. It is a combined 139 horsepower. It gets 4.4 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 54 miles per gallon. So one thing that was just announced recently is the Toyota Corolla is going to be having an all wheel drive hybrid available at the end of this year. They're taking a small electric motor and putting it at the back. It's called an E all wheel drive mm -hmm. system. Uh, so that probably will affect economy, but they're also expanding the line to include more trims. Yeah, I think that's pretty exciting and a very smart idea by Toyota. And it's good, about time. And good timing. Yeah. All right. So those are the subcompacts, the compacts and the hybrids, and there's only one plug-in. What is it, Andrea? It's the Prius Prime. It gets a combined 1.8 liters equivalent per 100 kilometers. That's 133 miles per gallon equivalent. Now we move up to the midsize category. It's interesting. Traditionally in the United States, the midsize sedan category was yeah. the biggest sales category. Mm. And then SUVs took over and clobbered them all. And a lot of the sales have gone down and down and down. But I think because of fuel prices, people are thinking, hmm, maybe an SUV isn't the way to go. And they're reimagining, as I say, cars. And also compact sedans and hatchbacks are getting bigger now. So sometimes you don't even need to make the stretch for the midsize anymore. In number three spot, it's the Hyundai Sonata. It has a 2.5 liter four cylinder with an eight speed automatic transmission, 191 horsepower. And then there's the 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder with 180 horsepower. Both get the same fuel economy, 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 31 miles per gallon. The number two spot is the good old Toyota Camry with a two and a half liter four cylinder and an eight speed automatic transmission, 203 horsepower. It's rated at 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 32 miles per gallon combined. And the number one pick is the Honda Accord with a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder and a CVT. It has 192 horsepower. It gets a combined 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 33 miles per gallon. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. Our first honorable mention goes to the Nissan Altima, 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 29 miles per gallon combined. And the Subaru Legacy, it is standard all-wheel drive. It gets a combined 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 30 miles per gallon. 
The three most fuel efficient hybrid midsize sedans are almost identical in fuel economy. In third spot is the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid with a 2 liter 4 cylinder and 192 horsepower. It's rated at 5 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 47 miles per gallon combined. The Honda Accord Hybrid with a 2 liter 4 cylinder and a combined 212 horsepower. It gets 5 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 47 miles per gallon. And the winner overall in the hybrid category is the Toyota Camry with a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder and 208 horsepower. It's rated at 4.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That's 48 miles per gallon combined. Well, there's some good fuel economy. I see why people are moving towards sedans. It's a shame, as I mentioned earlier, that the subcompact category has shrunk in size. There's a lot of entries that used to be for yeah. sale. They're all disappearing. There's only a handful of these cars left. And if you really want to save the most money on fuel, you buy a smaller car with a smaller engine. And the good news is they're cheaper. So you're saving money all the way around. Or the option is to get a bigger car with a hybrid powertrain. All right. It's good to see that there are some hybrids only one plug-in hopefully that will change as we go along but there you go if you're shopping and you're looking for a sedan that's a good choice because they're better than SUVs for fuel economy and now you have the ultimate list that Andrea compiled a lot of work there Andrea well <laughs> a lot done. of numbers yeah. I think my brain was <laughs> <laughs> all right if you want to follow along what do they have to do subscribe hit that notification bell you'll be notified when all of our videos drop and we put out a lot of unique content all right also follow on Instagram it's motormouth underscore Andrea if you want to see what's going on and that's it we're done we're going for coffee now <laughs>